morning. Good morning, guys. Um, good morning. Uh, good practice today. Um, guys are flying around. You know, we're we're still excited about playing, so that's a, that's a positive. Um, exciting time on campus right now. You know, number one public institute. I think that's eight years in a row. So I'm excited about that. But I'm actually excited to get the fans out to the Rose Bowl, 8 o'clock, you know, make a lot of noise behind the bench. So hopefully the student section is what it needs to be. And you got on the Mariners hat, so I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, two more guys missing today. Any other season-ending injuries? I know you all talked about um, No. Okay. No season-ending injuries. Um, if you didn't see them out there, they're probably just working through some right now. But. No season injuries. And I only told you guys so late because they had surgery and then once the surgery, that's when I wanted to let you go. Um, I saw Carson Gordon. Is he is he working with receivers and a punt return? So just uh, a couple guys are down at receiver and he had kind of asked if he could, you know, but he's still a quarterback. He's just a, a guy that, you know, can do multiple things. He can jump 18 yards out here, so he's very explosive. But he was somebody that just asked if he can contribute in another way and help to help the team out. So, Did we you know. see him doing punt return on Monday? Yeah, he came out and caught a couple punts. You know, he won't be in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he will not be in the game. But he um, just some, just to take some reps off some guys and, uh, you know, just working on his hands. With school starting tomorrow, is there any kind of change with your guys' schedule or how you're approaching things? No, we already were practicing in the morning, so they'll go to school from 11 to 5. But, you know, it's just more of them getting rest at night. So, you know, school starts and, you know, you got, you got school. And at the number one public institute, it's books and ball here. So I think guys are just excited that there's more people on campus. You know, other sports are here too. So um, just hopefully they – there's a lot of people on campus right now. Hopefully they make it to the Rose Bowl. With uh, the quarter starting, is Monet's status, is his changed at all? Um, he's back in school. He'll okay. be back in school uh, when we start. Um, but other than that, not, nothing has changed. You've faced three pretty damn good quarterbacks so far. Your reward is you get to face another really good one. Uh, what have your guys' their defenses learned from those first three games that they can apply uh, to this Saturday? It's almost like they're just getting us ready for the next guy. So, you know, um, just, you know, we got to be able to find a way to get to the quarterback. That's, that's the number one thing. And I think the defense is excited about this opportunity. And, uh, you know, especially a guy that almost came here, you know. So, you know, I think guys are just fired up. You know, as tight as his friend. So, you know, he probably wants to really get this victory. But um, he's a good quarterback, you know, lefty. I play with a good lefty here. I played with But now. And, uh, you know, just hopefully we can slow him down. You mentioned, you know, he almost came here. What's that like just that? Butterfly effect in college football, right? If DTR doesn't decide to come back, I mean, who knows where Dylan Gabriel is? Uh, what's that like, just not knowing year to year what things are going to look like? It's just a, it's the nature of the game, you know. But I'm really glad that D Dorian did come back because uh, that SC game that he had was amazing. Yeah. You know, he's a he's a great player and he's continuing to play well in the NFL. But it's just the the, the nature of the game right now, you know. Um, you can, you can go to multiple schools, you know, and just if you don't like something, you can go to another place, and that's just how it is. On the note of the defense, obviously some tough opponents these first three weeks, and now again this week. What has, or how have you guys been implementing things in practice, meetings to try and get the pass rush going better and get some of those stops needed, especially on third down? Just try new guys at different positions, um, you know, just figuring out different things just to get to the quarterback. But I'm just glad that we have multiple quarterbacks because we kind of have somebody that can emulate each guy that we've faced so far, you know. So, you know, last week was Luke. He was, he was uh, Musmire. And, you know, this week Chase is able to get a lot of reps because he's similar to, to Dylan. So, you know, um, I'm just glad that they're able to get live looks and just hopefully we can just come up with um, just a couple more pressures. And what are some of the position changes you've been experimenting with to try and get that? Um, I don't really want to get in the scheme, but just certain guys just moving around. And it's not really just moving them around because they it's just giving other guys opportunities to do different stuff. You know? I know some uh, programs have uh, opted for like analytics firms to help out with like fourth down decision making and all that kind of stuff. Is that something you guys have considered? Um, we have PFF and all that and stuff. So yeah, we have most of the analytics that's that's out there. But, yeah.
Coach, can you just touch on Carson's situation? I mean, played the hell of a game last week. Uh, are you looking for more out of him this week and moving forward? I mean, I'm just, you know, he's he went to Zach Charbonnet's high school, and he's very similar to him, you know. Doesn't say much, just plays at a very high level. Um, I'm just glad he's on our side and, you know, I'm going to continue. He's a guy that we try to take to some of his reps off of special teams and he won't allow that. So, you know, we're just going to um, continue to let him be him and I'm just glad that he's on our side. Really. You know, obviously it's been two years since you guys last played Oregon. Does anything look a little different either on offense or defense about them since you last saw them? Um, from the last time, I mean, other than uniforms, you know. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I mean, I know they have different people at different places, positions, and stuff like that, but they're, they're similar. It's very similar. It's not too far off. Right. It might not be the exact same thing, but it's not too far off. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.